हाय गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल आईटी ऑनलाइन क्लास आज इस वीडियो में हम देखने वाले एक जावा स्क्रिप्ट का प्रोग्राम तो आई विजिटेड साइंस आईटी टी ब्लॉग स्पॉट यहाँ पर एडवांस जावा स्क्रिप्ट के ऊपर समरी दिया गया है उसके नीचे कुछ क्वेश्चन है जो आपके आई ऑनलाइन एग्जाम में आ सकते हैं सो टूडे विल सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन लुप्स दैट इज राइट अ जावा स्क्रिप्ट कोड to print numbers from 1 to 10 let's see how we can print numbers using javascript from 1 to 10 so let's start with our editor that is notepad++ and begin with our doc type html tag that is the declaration tag then your html tag then we'll give the head section we'll close the head section then we'll provide one title say js program to print numbers that's our title then we'll start with the body section then provide the close body tag and i'll save this file with the name as js program Four dot HTML. So we're saving it in documents folder. So select the ty type as hypertext markup language. Then we save the file. So your JS program will come under script tags. So just put the script tags here under body section. So the first task is to create variables. So we'll be creating a variable called i that is be used for counting the values from one to ten and also for printing. So we'll also put one heading here using document dot write function. We will be using h1 tag and again we'll write the same thing. program to print numbers from 1 to 10 close the h1 tag then close the double quotes close the bracket of write function and put one semicolon so let's check whether it's working fine So I have saved the file in documents folder. We'll go to documents folder and we'll double click JS program for. So here we got the heading without any error. So let's go back to our Notepad plus plus. Now we can print these numbers from one to ten either by using for loop or while loop. I'll be showing you both the loops. So first I'll start with the for loop. So for loop has three statements within its bracket so one is the initialization then comes your semicolon and then comes the condition of the for loop and then comes the increment so this three statements will come initialization statement condition statement and increment statement So let's add these three statements regarding to our program. So our variable is i. So we'll initialize i with value one. So it came in capital letters. I equal to one. Then put a semicolon. Then we'll give the condition we are going to print from i to sorry one to ten. So the condition of the for loop working will be i less than equal to ten. So it should work up to the value. 10. Then we'll provide one increment i plus plus, which is seemed as i is equal to i plus 1. Then provide the brace for the for loops, and in this for loop block, we are going to print the values. So for printing again, we are going to use the document dot write statement. So under this, first we'll put br. For printing the values on a new line every time the loop traverses, 
so this br then we use plus symbol as a concat operator to concat the br and the i value of the variable sorry variables value so this is what we have designed the program and let's see whether it works so here we got from 1 to 10 okay in the heading by mistake i wrote 19 so I'll just change it so here 0 will come okay save it and again check the output okay so in this way we can print uh, numbers from 1 to 10 if the range is different you have to just change the initialization value of the variable that is your counter variable here it is i suppose you want to print it from 5 to 20 so you have to put i as 5 i is equal to 5 and the condition will change from i less than equal to 10 to i less than equal to 20 so this will print numbers from 5 to 20 okay so using this format we can print any numbers okay now let's see how to do the same program using a while loop the while loop structure says that it has uh, only condition to be mentioned in its brackets you see for loop we have statements while loop mein waisa nahi hai while loop mein aapko sirf condition dena padega aur ye dono statements aapko loop ke ek loop ke bahar rahega aur ek loop ke andar to same program using while loop let's see so in while loop you require that you first initialize the value of the i outside of the loop and then start with the while loop now in while loop you will just provide one statement that is conditional statement for the loop so here I will put while i is less than equal to 10 then the statement of printing document dot write will put give br tag and then plus i symbol i variable and here you need to increment the value of i by one so in while you initialize the counter variable outside of the loop in while brackets you provide the condition and you uh, you increment the counter variable inside the loop so this is how you write the program using a while loop okay. you can take a screenshot of this so let's check the output so here we got the So we have seen how to print numbers from 1 to 10. Uh, the next program is how to print uh, sum of 50 natural numbers. So we'll see in this in the next video. So thank you very much. You can take a screenshot and try at your level.